Grand Rising, Grand Rising. Yeah, yeah. Hope you're healthy. Hope you're healthy. Hope you're healthy. And that health leading to wealth. Hope you ain't being less. I hope you're blessed. And I hope you're out there expanding your mind and your spirituality and your spiritual self, man, because at times, and most of the time, that's all we got. That's all we got. I hope y'all tuned into the video yesterday that I dropped. Um, well, yeah, yesterday I dropped it. Uh, illusions, 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 illusions. I got another video I'm dropping today and possibly tomorrow. So y'all keep tuning in, man. Y'all tune in, man. Y'all know we're in the spiritual realm. It's Black History Month. And why not go into the darkness? The void, the abyss. This is what they don't want to go into. So we going to deal with this. The darkness of spirituality. The darkness of spirituality, baby. Yes, sir. So, and I'm, I'm going to keep it light. I ain't going to go like super super in detail because i you know there's a time and a place for that and right now you know my videos are between 10 and 12 minutes and the reason why i want to go into the darkness man i want everybody not if you're driving or anything like that but if you're in a secure place i just want you to close your eyes close them okay that is not an illusion sir what are you doing sir you guys are just walking across People almost got hit, man. People just walk across the, just cut across the street. For what? White people be crazy sometimes, man. This whole pedestrian thing, man. Y'all gotta get this shit together. Cause I hit, I hit people, man. I really do hit people. Cars are weapons, man. We, I, 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 let me stop. Anyways, man. The darkness, the darkness. See, that's how powerful the darkness is, man. They want you to keep distracted from the dark. They want you to stay on this light realm, on the illusion. See, we just got into that video. That's why I had to come back with this one right here, but they want to keep you stuck in the illusion. Science understands, it is proven. It is proven that this world is a holographic world based off of the light and how it bounces off. And how it reflects. I ain't gonna go in, I ain't, correct me if I'm wrong, you know my disclaimer. Y'all know my disclaimer on here by now. You've been keeping up with my videos and whatnot. You know my disclaimer. Not your master, not a guru, nothing like that, man. I just regurgitate, I, I, I re-advise, I re-list, re-give, uh, re-flip, however you want to say it, the information, the knowledge, and the wisdom that has already been here, that has always been here. But due to a problem of miscommunication through time, we are in the state that we are in now. So let's jump back on this darkness, right? Everybody's scared of the dark. Bang, so he born in the darkness, baby. One of the greatest villains. Still ain't better than the Joker, but anyways, I digress, man. Close your eyes if you're in a secure place, right? Close your eyes, man. That's all you got to do. Close your eyes. That is the original state right there. When you open these two eyes, you come, you become an, into an illusion. As we get more into the spiritual realm, the more we want to leave from the golden light. When I say the golden light, like this sunlight, the false light, the fireball in the sky. All right? We want to exclude ourselves from that. And we want to sift into the dark light. Darkness is a light. Darkness is a light. How can you say that, L? Because things are still manifested. Life is still manifested within the dark, within the void, within the waters. Darkness 
is light. Darkness is light. So in order to advance spiritually, you must go into the dark light. This ain't nothing. Matter of fact, you can call it what you want to call it. I ain't even going to label it. But in order to increase our spirituality in this journey, a spiritual journey in an illusionary world, in a holographic world, in order to increase the spirituality, to break ourselves from the systematic and the systems of the matrix as best we can. Some of us, we might have to still work. We might have to still do things. So we got to keep ourselves intact spiritually. And that's by going into where we come from. And that is darkness. Dark light. Dark light. Jeremy, that don't make no sense. It do. It does. And I'm going to show you why it does. All right. Now, if you're a Christian and you go by the King James Version of the Bible, the book of Moses, Genesis, the first one he, he decided to to, to put in the book, right? Or right, that's the first book that starts the Bible. Genesis it says, in the beginning. Nope, 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 nope. Let me not say that. That's John. That's John. But in Genesis, it says, God created the heaven and the earth. All right. This, that's the first thing that it says. That's the first thing that it says. Then after that, a being, spirit, a spirit being, an invisible being, a oneness, moved across the face of the deep, across the face of the waters. It was dark. It was void. It was an abyss. And then you know what he did after he did that? After all the traveling he did, heaven and earth already created. After he did that, or if we want to call it he, she, or it, whatever you want to, whatever, however you want to, however you want to go by. This is just story time. After he, after they moved across the waters, through the void, did whatever they did, then they created light. So my question is, who and how could they see in the dark? The earth was created and the heaven was already created. Now they might have didn't have their roles in what they played on the on the on the planetary system or a cosmic system, but it was nevertheless already created in darkness. In darkness, the word. If, if you if you want to go by John beginning story, those are two different beginning stories, told by two different prophets, priests, whatever you want to call them, evangelists, whatever. Right? In the beginning, it was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And if you go in the older script, it'll say logos. Just like in older scripts, it does not say God. That's another lesson for another day. But we're on the dark side of the spirituality and why we have to see, sink deeper into the abyss in order to free ourselves spiritually. All right. So in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God. Boom. In the beginning, in the beginning, it was the word. It was the word. And it was another word. There's no light in the word. You can't even see the word. There's no light in there. So if light is not is not created, if light, listen to what I'm saying. If light is not created, it does not exist. But what does exist if light is not created? That is the darkness. That is the dark light which you can still see in, which you can still create in. Understand what I'm saying, because now we are talking about on the spiritual sense, because obviously the sun, right, 
is going to give you an illusion. Also, the moon. Also, the moon. Because the moon reflects what? That's another created light. That's another created light in this particular dimension, whatever, or in this particular plane. I ain't even gonna get into that. But we always ask ourselves, well, how can we get more spiritual? How can we get more spiritual? We have to run away from the light. It's the reason why we close our eyes when we meditate because the light is a distraction. It is a disruption. In our, in our quest, in our pursuit for being more spiritual, for going, for growing in our spirituality. It is a distraction. Listen to what I'm saying. It is a distraction. When that sun comes up, everybody trying to do what everybody trying to do and do it fast as possible and get as much as possible. Soon as the sun comes up, soon as the sun goes down, everybody, eye, well, most of the people, eyes closed, they're in a dreaming, meditative, quickening state. In a sleep state. We have to understand this. And all to all my uh, black people, people of color, my Negroids. You get what I'm saying? We are of melanin, of darkness. We already know we are some of the most spiritual people on the planet. It's not by coincidence. Darkness has, has everything to do with your spirituality. Has everything to do with your spirituality. When the Dalai Lama meditate, he close his eyes. He meditate in darkness. He want to bring people to the light, but it ain't the light that they think they want to bring people to. Whether or not they conscious of it or not. It's only a few people that deal in the spirituality of dark light listen to what i'm saying dark light meaning that even though it's dark there's still creation going on there's still movement there is still vibrations scientists prove it through the string theory the darkness is moving vibrating the water is moving vibrating even though you can't see it it's happening and from that vibration of darkness light is being created the white golden red fiery light that we see that creates the illusion of the world of the matrix that we that we see but that's all it is an illusion because nobody asked to be here nobody asked to be here all it is an illusion simulation whatever you want to call it it don't matter you right you right you're right i'm here to tell you you are right in the way you've been thinking you are correct you are correct. Even if you're wrong, you still right. Why not? But we got to deal with this dark. We got to deal with this dark light, man. Y'all know I'm running on time. I get excited. I get excited. I get excited. But this is something that uh, I'm going to go on more into detail on. Um, because it's, it's what we need to know. We have to free ourselves spiritually. We got to free ourselves spiritually. It's a spiritual warfare. It's a spiritual warfare. So we have to free ourselves spiritually. That's the most powerful thing on the planet. Why? Because the spirit manifests the physical. Everybody knows that. Everybody understands that if you are in that realm of consciousness. Let's understand this. If you are in that realm of consciousness. So, as y'all know, I already told you I'm working on my office space. So we're going to get that right. Hopefully, by the end of this week, we will be in that bad boy. We will see just been taking my time uh just balancing well not really no ain't no such thing as balance but just trying to get everything um you know this man i still live this regular old mundane life that we in whatever you feel me this old this 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 shit so uh this stuff excuse my language but um man as you know link in the bio uh, if you want to earn extra money extra income by all means, click the link, the money machine, day trading. Uh, if you want to get into that, NFTs, if you want to know any, anything about those. Also, cryptocurrency, if you want to uh, build a portfolio for cryptocurrency, please click that link in the bio. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on uh, 
more products that I got coming on this uh, more more uh, uh, more I lost my train of thought uh, there's more categories to dive into because we live in a vast world of information and I just want to make sure that I communicate it properly to, to you all and if I'm not please correct me please correct me so then I can go back hit the books and clarify these things and that's one thing that I don't mind being I ain't never mind being wrong if I'm wrong please correct me leave in the comments AL buddy you might want to go do your research re-research that one buddy you know what I'm saying so y'all don't be less be blessed health equals wealth and uh, that's it man I'll see y'all in the next video peace